Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching. It is another edition of the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. And uh, if you'd like to help support the show, you can do so through the Cash App, dollar sign American Doofus, if you like what we do here on the program. And we certainly hope you do. Um, it is Juneteenth, June 19th. And uh, throughout the day, we're going to be monitoring how um, areas around the country mark uh, this, this date, this new federal holiday just passed. The first federal holiday passed since uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, by the way. And we'll be doing that throughout the day. But right now, I've got something to share with you that happened uh, yesterday afternoon in uh, Oregon City, Oregon. Now, first of all, uh, in Portland, Oregon yesterday, a, uh, the entire um, riot squad basically of the Portland Police Department resigned after uh, one of their own was uh, indicted on charges of uh, assault against a protester. The entire, what they're known as crowd control, the entire crowd control squad uh, resigned yesterday. That has nothing to do with what I'm about to show you. Uh, what we're about to see happened in uh, Oregon City, uh, Oregon, not in Portland. It comes to us from uh, uh, Ford Fisher's site, News to Share. One of Ford's correspondents caught this altercation between Proud Boys and Antifa. Just for a little context, um, the Proud Boys had a permit to be in the park and they said this was a uh, voter registration drive for uh, conservative Republican movements um, and yet they are prepared for war. And also just to be clear, while it is a constitutional right to burn the flag as a sign of protest, I personally don't agree with that. It should not have set off what you're about to see, in my opinion. <laughs> Also, I have no respect for a man using the flag as he was just using it as some kind of way to clear off the table. It's just my opinion.
Okay, this is the guy that was uh, abusing the American flag by wiping off tables with it. And now he's all concerned. Um, not that that concern isn't legitimate, but it makes it hard to believe it is legitimate. Nobody's right in this, okay? There are, um, there are two extreme sides colliding and uh, neither one of them are correct. Neither one of them are right. Neither one of them are righteous, despite this man carrying an American flag and you'll see Christian flags being carried. Uh, there's nothing righteous about what's going on here. Thank you. Nobody heard anything other than the clouds of pepper spray. Okay, in that first altercation, indeed, nobody was hurt other than the clouds of pepper spray, as you heard the man say. <laughs> Okay, I want to point out the uh, red and blue lights up here at the top and uh, and around the uh, around the area. Um, police were there. They did not. They let this happen basically until it uh, all but gets out of hand. Okay, what you're about to see is extremely violent. Um, a man comes from behind and uh, hits someone else with a steel rod. Uh, the person that was hit um, is in serious condition. Right here, this man, this man with a steel rod uh, in his right hand wearing the shorts Black shorts, black t-shirt. He hits the person, folds it back up, um, and then this altercation between a man and a woman. As you can see, this is when the, the police finally come in. No, walk that way. Do you want to watch the rest of this? Uh, visit Ford Fisher's site, News to Share. Um, as you can see the rest of it, and, and of course, we don't like to uh, use 100% of anybody else's uh, um, works other than we do it so that people are educated. Again, this is uh, what, what you will find if you watch it is that the uh, Proud Boys are going to be the victims in this. They claim victimization at the end. They say, we were just doing a, uh, we were doing it. Um, it was, it was political, it wasn't violent, yet they were all set up for extreme violence. And uh, the guy at the end says, oh, we, we had a permit, we just were doing a voter registration rally and, and we can't even do that uh, without, you know, being victimized. Uh, and, and that's, we, we, we've got a problem in society with victimization, everybody claims to be a victim. They, and they are, they're a victim of their own actions. Again, nobody's right in this, all right? There are two extreme sides and, and neither side is right. Neither side is righteous, but 
we need to be aware of what's going on on both sides because it will impact the entire country if this continues to escalate. And I believe it will because we're in for a long, hot summer. I'll be back later on. Hope you have a blessed rest of the day. Until next time, it's the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. It is a very dark world. Try to be a light.